In association with your undisputed king of beers, Budweiser. This first bout is presented in association with Pelts Promotions. Both bouts are sanctioned by the Florida State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Council. WBC supervisor for this first contest is Aníbal Miramontes. The three judges scoring the bout on a 10-point must system will be Jose Juan Guerra, John Keane, and Stuart Winston. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee, is Bill Connors. And now, ladies and gentlemen, two undefeated young heavyweights put their records on the line for 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and black and weighing in at 212 pounds. He brings a professional record of 17 victories without a loss, two draws, 11 knockout victories to his credit, Ladies and gentlemen, from Atlantic City, New Jersey, presenting the undefeated Daryl Dewin Damage Wilson. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with silver letters. He weighs 226 pounds. His professional record, 24 victories without a loss, including 20 knockouts from down under South Auckland, New Zealand. Introducing the undefeated David Tua. All right, I got it. She's. Uh, Enough of them, huh? No hand in the arm. No hand in the arm. All right, you're both giving your instructions in the dressing room. I'm going to clean fight, listen to my commands at all times during the round. Protect yourself at all times during the round. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. David Tua is regarded by many as the best young heavyweight out there. He's the prospect. Hey, 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 An impressive win boxing. here would move him up into the next level of boxing, starting to go up against top 10 fighters. Let's see what he has. Daryl Wilson, as he takes off the robe, looks to be in excellent shape. Same kind of condition that he was in when he fought against Shannon Briggs. If anything, his, his arms look a little bit bigger and more heavily muscled. You look at two in there, he's built like a truck. Whoa, let's get him up, girl. Early on, George, logic tells you that Wilson will want to get his jab going and create some space between himself and Tua. Not, I couldn't have said it any better. You want to establish a left-hand fight. Make him fight this fight by beating him to the jab. Make a young fighter say, I can jab too. Make the fight go into the third round, and he can change things for, with a power puncher. But right now, George, he seems intent on staying inside with him and matching strength and showing him that he's not afraid of him. And uh, that has some benefits also because Tua needs you to back away your chin a little beyond your, your feet so he can get that hook going. He doesn't like to throw it close. Although he's a puncher, he doesn't like to throw it short. So maybe he that's wants what you, he wants you to lean back a bit. So maybe Wilson decided that the better part of Valor here is to stay inside of Tua's power rather than to give him a chance to extend that left hook. Yeah, if you're not going to be jabbing and, and keeping that, keep him on the end of your jab, make sure you stay close. Tua's powerful, but he doesn't like short punches. Wilson bodying Tua off inside and trying to match him punch for punch. When Wilson steps away, he extends his arm as if to jab, but then leans right back in, shoulder to shoulder with David Tua. Midway through round one. Triple left hook by Tua. The thing that Tua has to be careful about is allowing Wilson to get any confidence he stays in there too long and let this guy taste his power. He's not on the canvas. He's going to give him a tougher fight than what he ought to do. Now Wilson starts pumping the jab as Tua steps back to look for punching range. 
Wilson seemingly content to fight in the phone booth, but if Tua wants to step back, he'll get the jab. Now, if I'm, I'm a trainer working a corner, I would tell Wilson, keep hitting Tua in the chest around the body. Don't, don't go for any hard shots. Just keep tapping them around. Now, that's the only way you deflate this power from these giants. Two fighters trading left hooks at close range in round one. Fight promises a lot of fireworks. Wilson tries a right hand across the top. Tua lands a short left. First down, Wilson. Or first time Wilson's ever been down. Can he beat the bell? Can he beat the bell? He can't. He's counted out. Another first round knockout for David Tua. Clean as a whistle. That's that a was, left hook, huh? That was a vicious first round. Two young, strong heavyweights testing each other. The younger, stronger heavyweight had too much. And two is awfully excited about this. As he should be. Stands up on the ropes and gets a cheer from the crowd. And in the middle of the ring, medical personnel working carefully with Daryl Wilson. He's crossed into another level now. He's the top rated fighter. Listen, he's to be reckoned with. He's not one of these Johnny come lately. He's the top fighter now. How's he going to get any fights? Nobody's going to want David Tua at this point, George. I would not blame them. No, there will be fighters who will test him, who will think that if you can extend him, if you can box him, rather than what Wilson did, which is to stay shoulder to shoulder, uh, there are guys out there who will try him. And of course, if he becomes a crowd attraction, as this style of fighter does attract the crowd, then, then there will be enough money for fighters to want to go up against them. Let's take another look at the knockout punch. And as it happened, Larry, George put his hand on my arm as if to say, that's the end of that. And just, sure enough. Just stepped back and drove that left hook. Just watch how he steps back. Boom. Woo. That, that's one of those eight-inch punches you don't see much of anymore, George. Oh, he had to extend it a little bit this time. When he was closer, he couldn't do it, but this guy gave him just enough room. And let me tell you, it's sleeping pill days. <laughs> and Wilson dropped his right hand, too, to make room for the target. No huh? right hand there. You got to stay close or stay away. If you're going to fight a left hooker like Tua, you're well advised to hold that right glove right up against your cheekbone all the time. And everything else you have. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to put a shield up there, too. Huh? That's right. <laughs> he, he is an unusual young man. He not only writes Samoan poetry, as Jim pointed out before, he plays a guitar. He uh, He's supposed to shoot a mean game of pool and he can fight. And he's planning to spar with Evander Holyfield before the Tyson fight. Good choice. Here's Buffer. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell. The winner by knockout victory in the first round, still undefeated, and now the WBC International Heavyweight Champion, David Tua.